Oh, how's it going? Pretty, pretty, pretty good, eh? Oh, did you see this shit? Looks like Mother Nature decided to come back. Yeah, today is the, uh, the official date today is January the 106th. Yep, January the 106th, people. Because of freaking snow. We got slammed with 20 centimeters the other day. And, uh, it was a different kind of snow. It was, like, super heavy, but when you walked on it, it felt weird. It was a really weird snow. Like, I don't know how else to define it. It wasn't, like, the fluffy stuff that's all... Even the stuff that's out there now wasn't, like, the fluffy stuff that's all crunchy and, you know, you walk on it and it doesn't feel like crap and... Where the hell did that other frying pan go? Oh, you're wondering what I'm doing? I'm making a big pot of macaroni! But, I need a bigger frying pan than this little guy. So, I'm gonna put this little guy over yonder. And grab one of the bigger psalm bitches. One of my older frying pans. Cause I got a whole bunch of beef. That I need to cook. And it's gonna be... Fucking amazing. First, I need to wash the pan. So... Got my pan on the stove, got my pan on the stove, I'm gonna make a big pack of beef cause I need it for my macaroni! By far the worst song I ever did sing and I do apologize for it. Well, I don't only really just need that, I need my big pot too. Because, like I said, I'm making a big ass pot of macaroni. But uh, I haven't made a video in about 2-3 weeks. Figured I would chime in and tell you guys all what's going on. So, there's no news in my life. There's nothing going on. Just been working. Um, oh yeah, check these out. I'm using Facilis. Facilis. That's the noodles of choice. I call them drill bits. It's a better name. Facilis is stupid. Never came up with that. Never used a drill, let me tell you. Bought this kind of sauce, the Hunts. Thick and rich. Roasted garlic herb. Ain't that gonna be good? All right, we got the beef in the pan here. Um, this is probably gonna be a two-hander. Gonna break it all up, bust it down, round it all off, and then chuck it in the sauce. Water's boiling. Well, it's gonna be. You can get some noodles going. It's gonna be good. Just had a sauce explosion. <clears throat> it's all in my garbage can, my other pot. Yeah, got some on my hand. Freaking burnt myself. Didn't realize I had it pinned, I had it on medium. You don't do that with this sauce. You'll blow bubbles and the bubbles turn into flaming, freaking flying sauce nuggets. Burn a hole right through a cardigan. Speaking of burning a hole through a cardigan, I shit my pants. So yes, it's after April 1st. And no, I didn't get my big raise. Still waiting for that to happen. According to the contract company, they're in communications with the Ontario government who implemented the whole Bill 148 to basically see if they can get some sort of re uh, like compensation or you know basically some sort of a way to cover the cost of us getting our big race. Now here's my problem with temp agencies and that's what I'm with is it, it's classified as a temp agency Basically, they get paid from a corporation X amount of dollars per hour to go and headhunt and find them people to work fast so they don't have to run an HR department, so on and so forth. They just contact this company and say, hey, you know, we need 20, 30 people and do. And they do. They go out and get 20, 30 people. They quality control them. Now... In some places, this is fine. Like a, like a regular call center that is just contract workers, that's fine. Because you're all getting paid the same. Nobody's any better. Nobody's doing any more work. Nobody has any extra benefits. But in an environment where there's full-time unionized employees, that's where it's kind of shit. Like, for instance, at work, right now the way it stands, we make 20 bucks an hour. The full-timers make 30 We're not protected by the union. They obviously are. We're not subject to raises or vacation time. Most of them there got five weeks. 
because of the union, they actually have a clause in there that states they only have to do 50 interactions a day. We don't have that clause. We just have to give her full tilt like a Peterbilt for the eight hours that we're in there. Because they're with the union, they get a paid lunch. We do not. So they're there for eight hours, they get paid for the full eight hours. We're there for eight hours, we get paid for seven hours and 15 minutes because our 45 minute lunch is not covered. Kind of bullshit, but that's what these places do. Now what pisses me off is, and I've been asking myself this and I can't really find any answer. What does a temp agency actually do for its employees? Yeah, they got me a job when I needed a job. That's true. You know, I appreciate it because if I didn't have that job, I probably wouldn't have a job and or this house or my truck or the spaghetti that I made or macaroni that I'm making or, you know, basically anything. But besides that, you know, a while back, I wanted to do some work on my, uh, I, I wanted to basically try and save some money every month, try to survive when I found out what my insurance was going to be. I was like, shit, I got to figure shit out. And one of the solutions was, let's try and lower the mortgage rate. And they basically wanted, okay, they were like, okay, listen, if you're going to remortgage and try and lower your mortgage rate and do it over a longer period of time, we need proof that you're not on probation, which with a temp agency, you're not on probation. So I asked them, can you draft me up a letter that says I'm not on probation? They said, well, there's no probation period. I said, exactly. Can you write up a letter that says that, that I'm not on probation? They wouldn't do it. They wouldn't help me out. I explained to them the reason why. That I just need to get this so that I can get my mortgage down a bit so I can afford, so I can actually have some extra money here and there. So maybe I can enjoy the, the luxuries of life and, you know, not spend my free time looking for another job, basically. I didn't tell them that, but I just said, you know, so I can have a little bit of spare money and there's less stress and I can focus more on doing good in my, my daily duties. Put it back on the job, make it look like you actually care. Well, no, sorry, there's nothing we can do for you. You're going to have to figure this one out on your own, is the answer I got. Even though it's none ya, I'm going to say it, finances have been tight like a tiger. It's been rough. It's been brutal. You know, um, I've uh, been basically bagging my lunch for the past month, which is, I should have been doing that since day one. Uh, going to the store is expensive. Going to the cafeteria, it's ten bucks a day going to the cafeteria. In a five day, a five day work day or work week, that's fifty bucks. That's four weeks worth of gas for the truck, you know. So I decided screw it. Instead of going and spending fifty bucks at the cafeteria, I go to the store, buy two loaves of bread for uh, well, they're on sale for four bucks. Two. Uh, Two for four bucks or one for like a dollar no for like 249 so I buy two loaves of bread some cold cuts and I just bring sandwiches with me because instead of that like it cost me like maybe 10 bucks tops and I got my lunch sometimes I pick up some like granola bars or something just to have a snack because sometimes you get hungry you know and I have breakfast before I go so I don't figure over my lunch at like my first break which a lot of people do that. They skip breakfast and then lunchtime comes and they don't have a lunch because they kind of cocked it over the moment they walked through the door and got to work because they were super hungry and they realized they had food and they ate it all and then they go hungry for lunch or they actually do go to the cafeteria after buying lunch food. So I've been having myself my breakfast and then going into work and then eating my lunch at my lunch hour and then I come home and I cook dinner. But I decided, you know what, I wanted something different than sandwiches because I've been eating a lot of that. Wow. I've had some sugar-free candies, guys. You ever have sugar-free candies? Holy crap, do they make you a farty. But, um, yeah, so I decided to say, screw it. Start making my own lunches, and I had this pack of beef. I was going to make a chili with it, but then I was like, eh, that's going to cost a lot of money to buy all, like, the different ingredients and fixings and... I, the noodles were like 99 cents and the sauce was 99 cents, so three dollars for noodle and sauce and I already had the beef for the ground meat. <laughs> I don't even think it's beef, I think it's probably pork. And uh, this should be like enough to get me through the weekend because I got to work uh, tomorrow and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 
then I'm off for three days and then I go back in Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Which is alright with me because I, I dig it. I'm still picking up extra shifts at work to try and get extra cash to keep myself afloat. Because she said we're going to be getting our raise. The problem is, is she's waiting to get the money from the government. Which she's not going to get because the whole reason why the government did this is because these, these companies, these temp agencies have been using, or have been used wrong. A temp agency is supposed to be like, okay, you go on sick leave or maternity leave and they need to fill a position ASAP. They call a temp agency and say, hey, get me some people in here now. We need to fill the, fill the void. Temp agency goes and gets people to fill the void, say for a year, six months, whatever the case may be. And if it doesn't work out, hey, they're not in the union, they're not protected, they're garbage. Once the, once the contract's done, you set them free. Nobody has any... Um, would you not... Oreo's trying to get between me and the stove because he's trying to steal food that falls. Hey! So, yeah, that's... That's one of the things. So, because of that, that's the reason why the government produced 15 in fairness to prevent these temp agencies to be used as full-time perm attempts and to generate basically a business plan off of full-time employing agencies like places that need full the uh, temps office settings construction settings hiring these temporary these contract workers full-time but not getting the full-time benefits you know no no pension no benefits no uh, like like I'm talking about medical benefits no dentals no nothing you just you go there you work they slave you hard and then you go home and all you get is a paycheck which some people might be okay with I personally came from a job where I had all that and now I'm all going backwards and it doesn't feel right I don't like that but what can you do this is the world we live in personally I think temp agencies are a legalized form of slavery press the like button if you agree so that's basically uh, what's been going on on that front. Because I know I talked about it before. About getting that raise and things are going to get better. And, you know, I wish it would happen. But I guess I can wish in one hand and shit in the other. It's the way she goes. So, yeah, and I know a lot of you are probably going to say, Well, if money's tight, you quit drinking all that beer. Guys, it is currently what? April the 17th? Somewhere around there, I think. Yeah. This month of April, I got drunk once. That was it. Since the last time I made a video, I didn't go to the beer store. I got drunk one freaking time. And that was this past weekend. Because I didn't really have the money for it. But I found a bunch of empties out in the garage that I kind of put out there, like bags of cans and cases of, uh, of uh, James that were empty. So I went, okay, brought them into the beer store, got 23 bucks, bought myself a 12 pack of James, got a little liquor. That was it. Other than that, haven't been drinking much lately because I know I can't afford it, so I'm not going to do it. And there we have it, a great big pot of macaroni. Awesome. I am looking very forward to my dinner where I will eat some of the macaroni and also play my stupid clicker game that I refuse to invest money into because of another game that I invested money into and disappeared from me. Marvel's Avengers, you son of a bitch. Back in the day I used to play a game like this, uh, Marvel Avengers on Facebook. Friggin' awesome game too. It was like a role-playing game in your browser where you basically got you you're one of the agents from shield and you got to build yourself a, a team of all of marvel's characters everybody from like wolverine cyclops uh, captain america ghost rider conan the barbarian i don't know uh howard the duck yeah i don't know the guardians of the galaxy all these people you could make them into a team and you could mix and match and make the team that you want. And it was cool. It was awesome. It was fun. You did missions. You got points. There was events every week. 
um, that you could participate in to unlock new characters from new shows coming out, like uh, Black Panther and different suits and the Iron Man suits and the War Machine suits and all the different movies that were coming out and stuff. And it was sweet. And then the creators of the game went and pulled it. Now, I did invest a lot of money into that game. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to flat out tell you that uh, I probably had about a good three, four, five hundred bucks into that game. Now, this was back in the Ontario days, the early Ontario days. I think I was actually stole my axe at that time. What was that sound? Hmm. Anyway, I was stole my axe at that time. And then one day they sent out a news statement saying they're no longer going to be maintaining the game. They're going to be shutting it down. Thanks for coming out. GG. Have a nice day. All that money I wasted on that game, gone like the wind. All the guys I bought, gone like the wind. Didn't even think about it back then. All I thought was, I need to catch up to the other guys at work because they got a year in on me. And the only way you're going to ever catch up in a game like that, by throwing some freaking scroll at it. And seeing how this trailer park boys thing, you know, it's still pretty good. They're still doing good. They're losing members like crazy, like, you know, J-Rock quit, Lucy quit. Jim Leahy passed away. The boys drink like fishes and party so freaking hard. It's only a matter between uh, before one of them have a problem. And I wouldn't be surprised if, if Randy quits. The one who plays Randy anyway. Pat Roach. Because Leahy's, uh, or, uh, John Dunsworth's death really, really hurt him. Like, it really bothered him the most. Because, you know, they spent a lot of time together rehearsing their lines and trying to get shit right. So, kind of hit hard to home. And it really bothered him when he passed away. And he didn't seem to really want to be around the guys much or do any of that shit. So it's just a matter of time before they shut her down. And when they do, they shut this game down. Probably. Unless it's still making money for some frigged up reason. At that point there, all the money you invest in the game... Poof! Gone! Blew it! You know? But I guess that's no different than buying a case of beer. I guess. You know, if it's something you like. It is a fun game, but the one on Facebook is... Oh, Facebook. On uh, uh, Steam is so much better. Mainly because I wrote a macro. That, like, every time you get liquor, like when you click down here, you see how I can claim that? It's chicken fingers. Swipe. Well, I wrote a macro while I'm at work. It actually does all this for me. It just collects all the shit for me. I don't have to lift a finger. Freaking nice. But that's all I gotta say about that. So I'm gonna shut her down here, boys. Uh, we got the uh, macaroni. I'll show you again. Oh, freaking big pot of macaroni, noonie, macaroni, mac macaroni. That's gonna be my lunch for the rest of the week and my dinner for tonight. Tomorrow night I got a pizza, so I'm probably gonna cook that. Yeah, I love pizza. A little casa de mama, or whatever the hell it's called. So I'm gonna shut this down here. So anyway, you know, there's a little update for you on what's going on in my life. So we're still waiting to get our big raise, and uh, this when it does happen, they're going to retroactively pay uh, pay us back to April 1st. So the longer they wait, the more they're gonna have to pay the more we're going to have to pay, because taxes, right? So, they'll be like, all right, well, we owe you 10 grand. Here's two grand. Eight grand goes to the government. Ha uh ha. -huh. We got you guys. Hey, one of those. It won't be that bad, but it also won't be that good. But anyway, I'm going to shut her down, so let me know what you know, and leave a comment down below. And until next time, people, uh, keep on vlogging. So, I had the rudest awakening today, and I did it to myself. So, remember last night in the vlog, how I was farting a lot? Well, sitting there, it's 4.30 in the morning, and uh, I'm asleep. And all of a sudden, I get brought to 
from dreamland into reality land when I hear this growling and I'm like the fuck is making that growling right away every instinct in my body I could feel the bed shaking like you know when you first wake up you don't really have much sense in your body you can't feel your legs or your arms or anything because everything else is still sleeping your brain's like you know frig off I want to go back to bed but I sense this urgency and danger because I could feel the vibrations I could feel the shaking so all of a sudden my brain goes get up and get into action mode something's attacking us so I jump out of bed get into combat mode and that's when I realized the growling I was hearing was me farting the shaking was me farting and I didn't stop farting till I jumped out of bed got into action mode and realized I sprung a leak I, I, I swear like if there was some way I could capture the audio from that I must have been farting for three minutes straight it was the most disgusting smelling bedroom I ever had in my life Hey guys, it's uh, Wednesday morning at 5.42 a.m. And uh, I'm adding this to the vlog because it's funny. I can't believe I did this. And I'm like, no, this is getting added. Too good.